Um, we're right back. I just do that. I, I wish I'd break them up as I'm going along. That way I can I have segments. But I kind of scatter all over the place. So uh, I go from one, one story or one idea to the next. Sometimes I change my train of thought and never go back to the original one. I, I've always been that way. It's, it's a personal flaw. My wife's the, probably the only one that tells me to my face, Jesus Christ, stay on the subject. I got so much shit going through my head all the time. What the hell? This road is... Don't tell me this thing is still wet. I'm going to get the Baja look added to it here. And you guys that uh, ride in the uh, wintertime, or if you're new, let's, let's put it that way. If you've been riding a while, you know this. Oh boy, do you know this. Stay the hell out of the, the scum that's churned up from the dead leaves. Or if it's a beautiful road and there's the beautiful leaves are laying on the ground, stay in the tire tracks. For obvious reasons. If I have to tell you, them leaves are usually wet and extremely slippery they will they can uh, they can put you down now that being said if you're fairly quick with your reflexes it's uh it's, it's not the end if you're going way above your head oh you could be down but uh when i was younger i drove probably just as fast in them as without them and I get uh, get stuff a little crossed up every once in a while, but it's not as bad as what what it seems. It's not that slippery, but you know, if, if you're new to riding, uh, you're not used to uh, what motorcycles will do when they get out of control. You can uh, you can find yourself in a panic or overreacting or reacting incorrectly. If there's ever a point or a suggestion to a new rider, look, the water's not as muddy now. But uh, we are on the other side of, of uh, where the Toodle River, north fork of the Toodle from Mount St. Helens dumps in. So uh, this clears up pretty quick. If, uh, I don't know if you, did I, was I anywhere where you could see it? Yeah, I went across the bridge and stuff. That's all the shit from the mountain still churning up. But uh, yeah, if there's one one piece of advice that'll save your ass if you're if you're just starting, or maybe you're you know been riding for years and you've never had an accident, or you know have somehow or another lasted and not put a motorcycle down, I'd say the number one rule. Don't panic. It's hard to tell you, you know, it's easy to tell yourself not to panic. But if you find yourself going into a turn too hot, I've seen this way too many times riding in group rides and somebody ends up hurt. As they come in hot, pegs start dragging, exhaust starts dragging, center stands if you have an old older bike or most newer bikes, the center stands are tough. Well away, but Anyway, you know, shit starts dragging, they freak out, stand up, and drive straight off the road. You'll be surprised. Just don't give up. Don't freak out. Just keep your line. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. The very act of continuing in the turn scrubs speed. Scrubs a lot of speed. <clears throat> but don't give up. What the hell is this in the road? Oh, it's a dog. I thought it was a goat. Uh, I bet you he's a chaser. Oh no, look at it. Oh yeah, he's a chaser. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Man, I've come into shit too hot and just known I... Ooh, that could be slippery. Known I was a goner. Just 
Hang it out, hang it out, hang it out, hang it out. You may come to the edge. You may shit yourself. You may piss yourself. But uh, uh, just assuming the worst, and I, I, I've, I haven't been with them when it's happened, but I've had guys that have been riding for a while come into a turn too hot on a new motorcycle, just knew they weren't going to make it, and literally drove head on into a car. And I go, geez, how to, you know, did you come in that hot? And he goes, nope. I just knew I wasn't going to make it. So I decided not to continue with the turn and ended up going into oncoming traffic and and then just kind of froze. He said, I seen the car coming. He goes, I don't know what the deal is. I just, I couldn't react. I just watched it happen. Man. Don't give up. And don't panic. Just try to Keep a level head, you know, it, when these things happen, it all seems to slow down, time seems to slow down, because your, you know, your body reacts, and I think it's a self-defense mechanism that slows things down, to, I, I don't know, I don't know, that I'm not a doctor, I couldn't explain any of that, but I do know that when shit's about to hit the fan, you, uh, your adrenaline gets in and everything slows down. Take advantage of that. Even though it's happening in a millisecond, take advantage of it and, you know, react. Don't panic. It's, it's easy just to go, ah, I'm not going to make it, bam, run off the road and hit a tree or go into a godforsaken barbed wire fence. You're talking about something that'll, <laughs> yeah, that's not good. I'm not going to normally go up that way. That had a lot of dead leaves on the ground. I'm not going to not going to hit that. But uh I know it's it's impossible until something like that happens to to, you know, as it's going as it's going on to say to yourself, "Don't panic. I'll be okay." But if you consciously think about it, before something like that happens, maybe it might save you. Usually, usually those panic things is when you're banking into a turn, you realize you come in too hot, or you uh, you roll in on an unfamiliar road and find out it's a decreasing radius turn, or an off-camber, or worse yet, off-cambered and decreasing radius. Shit starts hitting the deck, and if you're driving over your head, way over your head, speed-wise, whether you panic or not, you're asking for it, especially on the street. You know, if, if you're not familiar with the road and you can't see where that thing's going, oh, that'd be number two. Best advice I have for, for new riders or maybe not, so experienced riders look way the hell ahead. Do not stare at the road in front of you. Do not be looking for potholes or scratches in the road. Look way the hell ahead. Whether you know this or not, like I'm looking already in this turn, I'm paying attention to this car coming. But whether you know it or not, your mind is actually paying attention to what's in front of you. But if you're looking in front of you, like if I'm looking down where that headlight's hitting the ground, I'm a dead man rolling. There's deer that pop out here. It's crazy. And if you're on an unfamiliar road, you really need to be looking ahead. Look, uh, look way ahead. You will naturally follow the road. And whether you believe me or not, you're actually paying attention to what's in front of you. Your, your mind's doing it for you. But if, you, if you're not looking far enough ahead, you, your eyes aren't going to adjust that way. You know, like, I, like I'm looking in this turn where I can't even see anymore. You know, I'm waiting for something to pop out. and You never know what's going to happen up here. I'm looking where it's going dead in the trees up here. 
But as I'm saying this, I can see the tar snakes flying underneath me. If there's something in the road, one, I'm going to see it before I get to it. But if there's a pothole or something weird, that's, it's just not going to sneak up on you. I'm telling you. Trust me. It won't. You've already seen it. And as you're looking ahead, like I say, you're, whether you know you're paying attention to it or not, you're seeing the shit going underneath you and that you're coming up on. Huge, huge difference. Especially if you, if you find yourself riding too fast. If you, you know, if you get off your motorcycle and go, shit, I need to sell this thing, I'm going too fast. Well, until you sell it, you're probably still going to go too fast. Pay attention way, way ahead of you. If you, you know, you say, well, I can't see the turn, you know, I, you know, I can't see the road, I can't see the turn in front of me. Nope. You will follow the road. You'll actually take a smoother path in your travels at speed, or maybe not at speed, but you will take a smoother run down the road. It always works. And like at night, you know, that's probably the, the worst time for deer around here because they sneak out on you. They almost always, always glance at you. And you'll see their eyes. And there's a cat or a possum or whatever in the ditch. I see their eyes and I'm like, whoa, what is that, you know? You don't know what's going to pop out of that ditch, but you're alerted to it. Like now, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm paying attention to where the road's disappearing over the hill. If I look as far, I look way to hell ahead of me. And as you're doing it, you know, I'm watching this side road way before I get to it. If the car's coming up on this thing, I'm watching. Does it, does it look like he's slowing down? Is he just going to take a chance and dive straight across to the other side? Paying attention to all that shit. They'll, they'll get you. So, don't panic. If you find yourself too hot to turn or doesn't look like you're going to stop because a car suddenly stops or whatever in front of you, you know, start first thing, start thinking of options. Make your last option going into oncoming traffic. Can I get to the to the side of this guy? Is he about to take a right-hand turn? Does he have his right-hand turn blinker on? Uh, you might want to go to the left of him. You know, pay attention. Uh, and long before anything happens, pay attention to these things and watch. Watch the weird shit people do. Watch ahead of you. Pay attention as you go into turns and, and ask yourself, if I came into this thing too hot, and I started dragging pegs and freaking myself out, would I stand it up and go into oncoming traffic or drive off a cliff or go into a forest? What would I do? I, I've been riding for 41 years and I still think of that shit. Constantly. I'm the guy that's always pointing shit out in the road in a group that nobody seems to see. It's like, wow, you're driving blind? I'm always amazed that when you see these uh, clips of, you know, a, a car, or God forbid, a motorcyclist gets di disabled for whatever reason in the middle of the freeway and just watch and just one car after another comes piling in. Or there's a wreck, you know, obviously now you're all scattered in the middle of the road and people just keep driving right into it. The last second, bam! It's like, holy shit. Are you asleep? I mean, how do you... How are you not looking far enough ahead to see what the hell's going on? So, look ahead and don't panic if you think shit's about to hit the fan. Don't, uh... Don't freeze up. Try to make that turn. Try to get the bike stopped. Do whatever. Don't panic. Why does it look like a truck drove here? Oh, because they did. <laughs> Can I make it through that way? 
Is there a big enough hole to make it through that way? What? Is there a big enough hole yeah. to make it through there? Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for watching.